Hey guys, this is World 64 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Power Assault Armor Iron Man from Iron Man 2 through the Core series. This Iron Man was released part of the uh, concept series of the uh, Iron Man toys. Um, I personally do like this figure. Um, it's not personally one of my favorites, but it is a pretty cool figure. Um, I mean, you have to owe it to Hasbro for making some adverse or not adverse, so like different types of Iron Mans for the different lines, like concept movie and uh, comic series. But uh, before we get on to the figure, let's take a look at his accessories. Like all the Iron Man figures, this figure comes with a figure stand with the slot to put the uh, cards in and one peg for the foot. Here are the three armor cards that he comes with. Also comes with a little rocket launcher he can put on his arm. Now onto the figure. It's very cool. Of course, it just has the same, just red detail. This is actually dark red. It doesn't look like it shows on camera. Um, and that is a gold, a nice gold and a nice silver there. Um, he has these silly looking knee pads, which are red, which are connected to his calf. Um, he has shoulder pads that are removable. Like the three and a quarter inch war machine from the movie series, which could go up and down, which was cool. See his head sculpt there, looks really nice. I really like the bulky Iron Mans. Like, all the Iron, almost all the Iron Mans that they released in the series have been like really skimpy and just really weird looking. So, that's why I like the bulkiness of this figure. Um, he's got the little arc lights on his uh, hands there and on his uh, chest, so that's cool. Um, silver there on his chest and little guns on his arms or whatever and his feet for movement this guy has a bunch of head uh, his shoulders can go in and out and up and down um, and as you can see his shoulder pad just popped off the shoulder pads pop off a lot during the figure you're gonna find that a lot throughout the figure when you buy it um, or if you buy it sorry um, see it just popped off again, and it just started, um, bend at the elbow, turn at the wrist, uh, torso movement, up and down, side to side, good torso movement, um, ball joint hips, I hate this ball joint here, it's really hard to move his legs like that, I wish they didn't even have the swivel at the calf, I wish it was just a ball joint, but, it's a ball joint there, and then swivel at the upper calf, double joint knees, and, no feet movement. So it's a little hard to stand, but you know, you can stand him. And he's kind of like in this awkward position where his legs are spread apart. You can't like close him or anything. As far as I know, with these joints, I don't even know if that's possible. It's really hard to close his legs like that. So, but it's not a bad figure. I mean, being from the movie line. It really isn't that bad. And uh comes with one accessory well that you can actually do something with. Um, which is his little rocket launcher. He actually doesn't look half bad with it. But it's very big and obscene, so I don't really know the point for it. But it is a pretty cool figure. Um you gotta do it to Hasbro, like I said, to make a variety of these figures. Uh Iron Man I mean um, they made a whiplash for the line, and they also made a, uh, a Mark 1, and Mark 2, Mark 3, on and on. They made a lot of figures for this line. Um, they got it over to Hasbro for doing all that, just for the Iron Man TV movie. But I guess they wanted just wanted money and everything. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.